Carly and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys 15 pumpkin carving or jack-o-lantern ideas for this Halloween season. Now y'all, I know getting a ginormous pumpkin and just looking at it and being like, what do I carve? Like, it's intimidating y'all. So, in this video, I'm gonna give you really, really easy ideas when it comes to carving your pumpkins. And remember, be super careful when carving your pumpkins because it's a dangerous sport y'all. It is a dangerous, dangerous sport. But, without further ado, let's get straight on into this video. So my first idea I have for you guys is a little cat pumpkin. Now this is so cute and so funny because where the stem is could be the little butt hole for your cat pumpkin and this looks super duper easy. The next idea I have for you guys is the cutest thing ever. I know if I was a little kid like I would die over this and just because of that my childhood years I might have to make it this year but a little cottage for like little fairies or something like that like carving a little house in it to your pumpkin I think that is the cutest thing ever. Next, a little minion pumpkin. Now y'all, the minion movie is super trendy this year, so maybe give a minion pumpkin a try. And it also is kind of an easy shape to do, so it should be pretty simple. Next is a Harry Potter pumpkin. Y'all, I love Harry Potter. I am probably a Gryffindor house if I do say so myself, but I love Harry Potter so doing a Harry Potter pumpkin would be so cute, you just do the little scar and glasses, and this seems pretty simple. Next you could do a little owl pumpkin, I think this seems super simple, it looks simple, but knowing me it would probably turn out awful if I tried to do it, but maybe you're a little bit more creative. Next a little Pikachu, I think it's called a Pikachu. I like y'all you know I'm not good with those little cartoon people or anime or whatever it is but this little guy seems relatively easy to make so maybe try it out this year next y'all this pumpkin is so cute it's a little pump it's a little pumpkin yeah it's a little pumpkin with a cupcake carved in it I think this cupcake is so cute it looks relatively easy the top of it looks like you don't need to carve it all the way you just like chip at it a little bit which I feel like that's gonna be the hard part but the rest of it looks pretty simple to do next a little Hello Kitty pumpkin now this is kind of the same thing where you're not carving a hole necessarily you're just kind of chipping away at the pumpkin which maybe you wouldn't need like a super sharp knife to do this maybe just like a little picker of some sort. <laughs> Next you could do the Lorax pumpkin. I think this is so cute and most of it is just a big mustache so this should be really easy. Next a Batman pumpkin. This is just the Batman symbol so it seems easy enough. I think if you draw on your pumpkin with a sharpie this should be pretty easy just to cut out with your knife. Next, a little dog print. Y'all know I'm a dog mom, so I'm definitely gonna have to do this one this year for my little Reese Pill. Next, a flower. I feel like this is also something super easy. You could just carve or draw the petals on there and then just carve them out and you have a flower. Next, a space pumpkin or a galaxy pumpkin with stars and a moon. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit time consuming because there are a lot of stars on here and stars aren't the easiest shape to make. However, it looks pretty easy. Next, an Olaf pumpkin. I think this is so cute because you could actually take sticks and just stick it in your pumpkin and it looks like Olaf's little hair. So cute. And finally, my favorite, favorite pumpkin is the Coco Chanel pumpkin with a little heart. This seems pretty easy to carve out. And y'all, I'm definitely gonna have to make this this year because y'all know I love some Coco Chanel. So that is all 15 jack-o'-lantern pumpkin carving easy ideas I have for you guys. I hope you guys carve some pumpkins this fall because why not y'all, it's super fun. And that is the end of this video. Remember, all 31 days of October, I will be posting a new YouTube video. So stay tuned for all of my upcoming videos. And all my social medias are linked in the description below. So check those out and I'll see y'all in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.